Hey YouTube, I'm Motor Racing Network Steve Post, and we have another beautiful shipment of die casts that's just received from Lionel. And these items are available at your local die cast dealer or at PlanBSales.com. It is an exciting time of the year, and these do make great Christmas gifts, by the way. Now, I love Kyle Larson, great young driver, came up from the sprint car ranks, has really turned a lot of heads, and folks, I know you love them too, because about every three or four days, we get an email, we get a tweet, we get a text, we get something that says, when is the Larson Clorox car due in? Hallelujah. It's here, and we have it in various forms. We have it in 124 scale, but this one here is autographed by Kyle. Had a chance to spend a little time with him here at Plan B Sales earlier in the year. So an autographed version of the Clorox car, and also we have just the standard, straight up, non-autographed version of the car, and a little later on we'll show you the 164 scale, because we have that as well. Now, Rusty Wallace, NASCAR Hall of Fame, what an honor for that inductee, and they developed one of his die-cast cars. This is the 1994 Miller Genuine Draft car that Rusty Wallace ran. This is the Ford that they ran and had so much success with, so Rusty Wallace fans, we have you covered with this Hall of Fame die-cast car. Jamie McMurray, the bright orange banana boat colors, and I don't remember exactly which race it was, but I remember we had rain because we were laughing about the banana boat sunscreen car covered up and getting all wet from the rain, but this is finally in the 124 scale car that we have of Jamie McMurray and Jimmy Johnson with the Plains co-sponsorship. Lowe's does a lot with some of the Disney Pixar movies and they did a lot with Plains, so we have the Jimmy Johnson movie that promoted the Plains movie that was out earlier this year. So we have all of these die cast and then we have some special finished paint schemes. Now the Stanley colors for Marcus Ambrose, they changed the logo on the front of it about midway through the year. So this is the second half logo cars that we have and we have the color chrome cars and as you saw in that one, autographed color chrome Marcus Ambrose car and a non-autographed version of it. So we have that for Marcus Ambrose. NASCAR salutes Here's the Brad Keselowski car, the beautiful Miller Light Ford that Brad Keselowski raced. We had that. And then in the nickel finish, we have the Greg Biffle 3M Ford that he ran earlier this year. And this one is the uh, tribute to Make Kids Smile is what he did with that. So those are the 124 scale cars that we have right now in stock, brand new, fresh this week at Plan B Sales. And we also have 164 scale cars in. A couple of you have been asking, when are these coming back in? Because we had a shipment or two where we didn't get too many of them. Well, we're back in the new 164 scale business. A few Ricky Stenhouse Jr. cars that we have, the driven car that he raced, and the Ford EcoBoost Ford that he ran. So Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and a Greg Biffle car. This is a tribute car that they had for breast cancer awareness. Now, this Tony Stewart Code 3 Associates car, this is the paint scheme. It's not the race winning car because we don't do race winning cars in 164 scale, but this is the paint scheme that Tony Stewart scored that lone win this season up at Dover with. So, if you have a Tony Stewart fan, it's a great stocking stuffer for them to remember that great day at Dover when Tony spent time in Victory Lane. Peanut M&Ms, love the Peanut M&Ms and love this car that we have of Kyle Busch. Marcus Ambrose, again, this is the second half Stanley colors on the 164 scale cars. Here's David Reagan's CSX 164 scale car, and this one is very popular as well. The Loves Truck Stop car, David Gilliland from Front Row Motorsports, that is available now. Mentioned it earlier, we have Kyle Larson's 164 scale car and Austin Dillon's number 33 car, the Mycogen Series sponsored car. We have that for Austin Dillon as well. So 164 scale cars, and then this. Finally, we have the Jeff Gordon Drive to End Hunger Transporter available as well. So a great collection of cars available, brand new, at your local diecast dealer or at planbsales.com. And make sure you get them now and get ready for the holidays and have that all taken care of and all out of the way. Now, stay with us, because in just a moment, a very special edition and a unique edition of The Post Show. All right, folks, it's time for the post show here on our Diecast Review Show. These are the questions from down below here on YouTube, and we love answering your questions because it gives us a chance to talk about our favorite thing, and that's NASCAR racing. So we appreciate those questions. Keep them coming in, and who knows, maybe next time on the post show, if we don't get yours today, we'll get your question here on the air. The first question we have this week is from Camo1428. 
What was your favorite moment in 2013, from fights to close finishes and everything in between? And you know, we had a bunch of all of that this year. And when I look at the season, ironically, two of my three favorite moments for one were from the Camping World Truck Series. First and foremost, just to go to Eldora and race on the dirt track. I'm a dirt track junkie, love dirt track racing, and the opportunity to be up there and watch those trucks sling around that dirt track was just a dream come true to see that happen and really a lot of fun and watching Austin Dillon win that race was really really cool. The second favorite moment was scrapping and fights. You mentioned fights. Well we had a bounty of them after the race at Canadian Motorsport Park for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Remember Ty Dillon and Chase Elliott got together at the end and remember Max Pappas got into it. It just was it was one of those things in, in my perspective on this is as a pit road reporter you just have a bunch of people jawing with each other and that's when it gets fun. That's when you're trying to figure out what's going on and you're in between everything and face it, we're running around there just trying to get all the stories and I believe our crew did a really good job but it was just really wild there to be on the radio and talking with somebody about their disagreement, their, their, their disagreement, what they did and what they did on the cool down lap and then you go to the other side of it and then you find out that Max Pappas is mixing it up with somebody and somebody's girlfriend swats Max Pappas in between all of it it was just chaos. Well, chaos when you're in broadcasting is just a lot of fun, so I really enjoyed that race. And I love going up to Canada anyhow. Man, I'll tell you what, Canada has some great fans, and it was a great race, but that finish was fantastic. And I would say my third favorite moment of the year was Talladega in the spring, watching David Reagan and David Gilliland come down that backstretch. I relive it. I've watched the YouTube videos. I've had fun watching it, talked to the drivers about it, watching those two guys muscle their way down the backstretch and to Victory Lane for Front Row Motorsports. And when you know David Reagan, and when you know David Gilliland as two of the absolute stand-up guys in the sport, that was just a great moment for me. So, Camel 1428, that's my answer to my favorite times. DJ Bartlett writes in and says, is Chase Elliott going to be the future 24 driver? And DJ, there's been a lot of speculation about Chase Elliott's future and his future at Hendrick Motorsports. He is involved over at Hendrick Motorsports. The truck that he ran this year in the Camping World Truck Series was a Hendrick Motorsports truck. They had an arrangement with Turner Scott Racing, but Lance McGrew, longtime crew chief at, Tur at uh, Hendrick Motorsports, crewed that truck and worked with Chase Elliott. Right now, they're fighting the battle that a lot of young drivers are. Sponsorship. So we don't know what the immediate future holds. We know he's in the fold over there, and possibly he goes into the 24, but possibly something else happens as well you just don't know in our day and age with sponsorship being so critical sometimes what seems obvious or what seems like a normal path sometimes gets a little jilted and off course because of the sponsorship issues NASCARGO number 19 NASCARGO 19 how about that um, I have the S cargo snail thing involved there NASCARGO 19 maybe that's the way you say it what do you think was the biggest surprise of the 2013 season and I have two of them on the good side I know Matt Kenseth's a great racer, and I know Joe Gibbs is a great racing team, but I'm not sure any of us saw them coming out of the box and doing what they did this year. They almost won the Daytona 500. Matt led the most laps at Daytona, and the season they put together was absolutely phenomenal. So on the good side, I've got to say it's Matt Kenseth. On the downside, Brad Keselowski, and I hate to say it because I love Brad Keselowski, but to not even make the chase after winning the championship, I know that was a surprise for the team. That was a surprise for most of us in the sport, a big surprise for me. So those are my surprises. Now this next one is just really cool, and we just love the attention to detail that you fans have in NASCAR racing. This banner here behind us that we have hanging, you see the autographs on it. Well, Nick Mucciola writes in and says, could you show the viewers all the autographs on the wall? Nick! That's a brilliant idea, so let's do that. And we'll start up here in the corner with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. signed with a number six car. And we have Trevor Bain who signed on the wall as well. Regan Smith, when he was with the 78 team, he signed the well. And Akinori Elgato, the Japanese K&N Series East driver, signed our wall. Landon Castle was here. He had a chance to sign the wall, as did David Reagan. And love having David Reagan here at Plan B Sales. The legend, Buddy Baker, was here. We did a YouTube video with Buddy, and he signed our banner as well as Daryl Wallace Jr., one of the great young hot shoes coming up in the sport. Ryan Reed was here not too long ago. Did a YouTube video with him. 
and he signed our well as well. And Regan Smith, well, we talked about him earlier with the 78, he also signed the wall as the driver of the number five car. We had truck series champion from two years ago, James Busher here. He signed our wall, as did the legendary boys from Hueytown, Alabama. Donnie Allison was here and signed, as did Bobby Allison. Now, another historical great in NASCAR racing, Rex White was here at Plan B Sales, and we had Rex sign the wall as well. Marcus Ambrose, the Tasmanian Devil. He signed the wall as well. Those are some of our NASCAR guys. We did have a drag racer as well. 2012 Funny Car Champion, Fast Jack Beckman, signed the wall here at Plan B Sales, as did young NASCAR star and sprint car star Kyle Larson. And we end where we began, down on this side. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., we talked about him signing with a six car down there. Here he signed with a number 17. So a beautiful collection of autographs and we're hoping to add to it as we go as well so and we appreciate you checking us out here and asking these questions on our youtube page for our diecast review show those are the questions for the post show keep those questions coming in and we'll keep answering them right here on youtube we love that you guys are getting involved with us here on youtube we have the comments below feel free to mention your comments here follow us on twitter at plan b sales and we'll keep you informed on what we have and please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there and we appreciate the business you did give us.